The word APU is a curse word to me. APU, APU, $200, quote unquote, gaming PC. That's not a gaming PC. Get him out of here. Get him out. Now, get him out. Get we him don't take kindly here. to APUs at the Slash Think out. Tank. What's going on, everybody? It's Slash 687 here with a real life PC build. It's the first ever on my channel, and I'm sorry I was angry in the beginning. I'm just sick and tired of the APU thing, man. It's not a gaming PC if you have an APU in it. They might make all right uh small form factor quote unquote gaming pcs but other than that uh these apus they can't push out the graphics that are needed to play the latest titles at 1080p and to me that's not a gaming pc that's just a glorified productivity pc it's not really gonna be able to game the way any sensible human would want it to so today we're putting together a great beautiful $200 make yo mama holla gaming PC so let's get right into it so what did I spend my $200 on well I got a dedicated GPU and a very very good uh, platform to build off of starting off with the main uh, part of the system I bought a uh, Dell Optiplex 780 it has a Intel Core 2 quad it has uh, 8 gigabytes of DDR3, it has 750 gigabytes of hard drive storage. Overall, it's an amazing platform to build a gaming PC off of. It was initially listed on eBay for $175, and I used my amazing people skills to talk them down to $125, free shipping. I got it and hopped on the deal, easy peasy, amazing platform to build on for $125. Next up, I went with a GTX 750 Ti. I looked around and eventually found one that totaled, after including shipping, to about $73. And this left me with a $198 amazing gaming PC. What it really comes down to when searching for PC parts on eBay is don't be afraid to haggle. Feel free to message the seller. Try to get them to lower the price. It doesn't hurt, and most of the time, people will be willing to work with you. Also, if you see a deal, hop on it. Don't hesitate, because he who hesitates is lost. I found this GTX 750 Ti for only $73. Most of the time, they're like 90 to 100. I was like, dang, I bought that thing immediately, and it shipped to my house. It's in perfect condition, and I have the PC together. So as you can see right here, the PC came with a GT 610. Uh, the cable management wasn't really that good, but it's no big deal. But like I said, it did come with a GT610, and it is a single slot card. Turns out that this case only supports single slot graphics cards, and this GTX 750 Ti was dual slot, so I had to kind of finagle with it, kind of do some creative rigging. Like I've mentioned in past videos, you have to do sometimes. I had to take off the metal faceplate that's in front of the uh, display options. I just unscrewed that, it was pretty simple, a few screws that came off and it fit into the PC and it worked fine. So uh, it would be good if I could secure it down because it is kind of a little bit wiggly in there which isn't really good for the PCIe lane I'm sure or the uh, connector so I'm gonna fix that maybe just use a, uh, a zip tie and tie it up but other than that it fit in perfectly. Uh, very quick process you wouldn't really have to have a lot of PC knowledge to do it and uh, I was up and running right away. I didn't mention it earlier but the PC did come pre-installed with Windows 10 so I didn't have to worry about that just turned it on uh, installed the graphics card drivers and I was good to go now on to the important part how does this thing run games I did a series of benchmarks including Assassin's Creed Rogue Bioshock Infinite Counter-Strike Global Offensive Metro Last Light as well as Mountain Blade Warband so there's a good variety of CPU intensive as well as GPU intensive games here so you should be able to get a pretty good idea of um, what kind of performance you're gonna expect for whatever game you're willing to play. All benchmarks were run on ultra settings except for motion blur. I kept that turned off because I just don't like motion blur in general. So let's get into this. Starting off, the first game is Assassin's Creed Rogue. I had an average of 39.35 FPS, a maximum of 46 and a minimum of 35. It's a very good playable frame rate for a game like Assassin's Creed. Uh, if you lowered the settings down to high and medium, you'd definitely get a constant 60 FPS. Assassin's Creed Rogue is a, it's based for the PS3 and for the Xbox 360, so it is kind of an older game. It's easier to run than a game like uh, Assassin's Creed Unity or something like that, but it's still a very large open world game, and it is impressive that I can get these kind of results on a 
gaming PC that's only $200, keep that in mind. 40 average FPS, very good, especially for the ultra settings. The next game I did with the built-in benchmarking utility was Bioshock Infinite. This game is getting older, but it still can punish a GPU with the ultra settings turned on, and this system did just fine on the ultra settings, getting an average of 51.51 FPS, a minimum of 13.2, and a maximum of 107.78. So very good numbers for a $200 build. 51 average is definitely more than playable. If you knock down the settings to high, you'd be getting a constant 60, so definitely good results in Bioshock Infinite. And it just goes to show that that 750 Ti is definitely a powerhouse. Up next is CSGO. This game had no problem at all with CSGO. We had an average of 112 FPS, minimum of 80, and maximum of 163. Uh, very good, very <laughs> playable frame rates for sure. Everything turned up to ultra once again. Uh, just overall buttery smooth. I did the benchmark on Dust 2, which is a very popular map, so you kind of get a good idea. It was in a 10 person competitive server, and like I said, 112 average FPS. You really can't go wrong with that. Uh, very high, very good FPS for a competitive shooter like CSGO where a high frame rate is very important. So this build will definitely not let you down in CSGO. Very good results this time around. Next up I have Metro Last Light. It's kind of similar to Bioshock Infinite that it is getting a little bit older but it still can punish a GPU, it still can punish a CPU. Very good looking game for the time. and definitely a good game to use as a benchmark. So for the average FPS, once again on the ultra settings we had 39.85, uh, minimum was 34 and maximum was 58. Very good, very good results for Metro Last Light. I was definitely very surprised we did this well and if you lowered the settings to high or medium you would be getting uh, 60 plus FPS. Uh, all these benchmarks are in 1080p by the way. I didn't really point that out in the beginning, but yes, very good results. I'm very happy with the 750 Ti. I didn't think it would perform this well, but it is chugging right along and it pumped out some great benchmarks. I definitely thought the Intel Core Quad would be enough, but I just didn't expect to see these kind of great results, so I'm very happy with the performance in Metro Last Light. The last game I benchmarked was Mountain Blade Warband. Usually it can be a punishing game when you're facing a whole bunch of NPCs. If you're having a battle with like a thousand plus people in it, it is very punishing on the CPU. But in this case, there are only about seven other enemies. so. It chugged right along, constant 60 FPS, no problem at all, but if you did have a large scale battle going on, I would say that it would drop down to 30 to 40 FPS average, but uh, for what it is, definitely a very good game to benchmark and a great steady constant 60 FPS with not a whole uh, much chaos going on, but overall, I'm very very happy with this machine's performance in these benchmarks. This build really just goes to show you that if you're willing to purchase used parts and if you're willing to hunt around for a good bargain, you can really come out with something great, something special, something that's actually going to play games, not an APU. You just gotta remember to stay patient, just keep looking, keep searching. It doesn't even have to be eBay, it could be Craigslist, it could be a yard sale, but if you look around and you try hard enough, you can find a good deal. You'll always be able to find desktop PCs. There's they're all over the place really for sale if you just look a thrift shop anything like that uh, just look for something like that look for something like my uh, Qu Intel Core quad with the 8 gigs of RAM and all that it was a very good deal for me $125 uh, you can find something like it too it's not that hard and then just get a GTX 750 Ti it doesn't require any extra power and I was powering this build off of a 300 watt power supply uh, it really I mean, these GPUs, the 750Ti's are so efficient, they can run off 300 watt power supplies and it doesn't even matter. I just wouldn't try any kind of heavy overclocking if you're gonna run off a 300 watt power supply, but I'm, I did it in all these benchmarks and it worked out fine, so if you're just interested in dipping your toe into the waters of gaming PCs, this is a great choice. 
It's a great build, amazing price to performance. I think you'd be hard pressed to find anything that could match this build in price to performance. Or if you're just bored and you just want to build something, you have some extra money, this is another great system. Or even if you have like a brother or sister or something, or somebody who just wants to get into PC gaming, build this for them, they'll enjoy it. It's only $200 and plays modern day games very well. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more real life PC builds, just, you know, be sure to smash that like button. That's what it all comes down to, really. If I get the likes, if I get the views, it's going to help me be able to create more of these because, believe it or not, yeah, that's $200 of my own money I had to spend to build this thing. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it. It was a great, fun project to undertake, and I really did enjoy finding out the performance you can get from only $200. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all later. Have a great night. And be sure to comment, be sure to like, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe. Peace.